How do you know when you've done enough qualitative work? In qualitative research, typically you know you've done enough when you have reached what is called saturation. When you are able to go into an interview, whether that be an in-depth interview, a key informant interview, or even a focus group discussion, and you are fairly familiar or very familiar with the kinds of answers people are giving you, you've saturated your research question. So to the extent that you know that your research is valid and reliable in a qualitative, in qualitative inquiry, you can say that when you've investigated the questions such that you already know basically what answers people are gonna give you. There is a problem with this when we think about, well, what if you've only done interviews with one group of people? You might, for instance, do 20 interviews with students broadly defined, but you realize through the process of doing your interviews with students that you need to do 20 interviews per class, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, in order to saturate. So you might think initially that my, my research will be thorough and reliable enough if I do 20 to 30 interviews with students broadly defined, but through the process of your research you realize that you need to diversify um, the criteria for selection. And once you do that, and you do enough interviews by class, the answers that people give you per class would be fairly familiar, or very familiar by the time you finish your research. So that's a concept called saturation that we use in qualitative work to say we've done enough, and what we have is quite, quite reliable by qualitative standards, because you've been thorough and you've saturated your research question. Saturation you can use whether you're doing a quote-unquote representative qualitative study or one that's much more um, exploratory and critical, because if you're thinking along the lines of representation, then you might think 30 interviews generally is, is like the minimum number of interviews you would need to do in order to be representative of an issue. But through those interviews, you might realize that you're, you've saturated with one subpopulation. You've saturated, for instance, with white female students, and you need to do more research with minority students, and you then realize that you need to be more clear about what you mean by minority. So are you talking Hispanic? African-American, and to what extent then do you need to continue to do research to answer your question? The problem with any kind of research is that you can always do more. So make sure you check in with your research question to decide, have I done enough to answer this question? And then note at the end of your research, here are the questions that my research has raised, and here's what else needs to be, what else needs to be explored in order to further advance knowledge in that field.